Welcome back to another BA Sensei tutorial, this time around um, Power BI and DAX. We are going to look at identifying new clients. It's part of a series of videos where we're going to look at new clients, um, lost clients, uh, returning clients, all of that, which is quite handy insights to have if you have a business. So let's quickly look at the different kinds of new clients that I'm going to be looking at. So we have a client. The very first sale of this client, um, let's say we are a sports shop. The very first sale happened on the 3rd of Jan and we made sales of the uh, total of $3,000 for a mountain bike. This belongs to the category of bike. So as this is a new client, the first sale would be on the 3rd of January. Excellent. Let's say a month later, the 4th of February, we make another sale for this client to the amount of $400 and this time it's for a bike helmet the category is accessory and then on the 10th of March we make another sale to this client 4000 for a road bike and a helmet which the two categories bike and accessory so now let's quickly look at what an absolute client uh, the absolute client date would be so the absolute client that is the very first time that we've sold anything to this customer and that would be on the 3rd of January so that's absolute the absolute new client sale date and sales count well a relative date basically would say for the category of bike our very first sale to this client was on the first the 3rd of January but for the category of accessory the very first sale was on the 4th of February you can see the third cell, which includes both the bike and helmet, doesn't even feature as new. So that's what we mean by relative and absolute client. So we're going to create measures and DAX for both of those. So now in Power BI, let's quickly look at the data model. We've got the sales. The sale is allocated to a customer dimension and the sale has a product dimension. And we've got the categories of the product and in the sale happen at a specific date. So that's our dimensional model. We're going to look at the absolute uh, new client. What we need to do is we need to determine the very first time we made a sale to a customer, the absolute date of making that first sale. So let's start that off. Let's go to fact sales. We say new measure. Calculate. Give me the min, the very min. Yes, the very first time that sales. And we're looking here at the order date yes that gives us the very first time that we have something there and i'm going to use all except because what i want to do is i want to remove all filters from everything ex from everything except the customer dimension so i'm going to say yes fact sales yes and what is that going to be on well customer id yes so anything i'm basically saying i want to f find that very first date that we made a sale to a customer and only looking the, at the customer ID. What we're going to do is we're going to drag the customer name in. Let's say the customer name. Yeah. And then let's bring in that new that of the customer. Let's just format that. There we go. So now we have for each and every customer, we got the very first date that we did business with them. Now we need to do the DAX that does account of every single time we have a new customer, the absolute date. So we're gonna go sales and we're gonna say new measure. I'm gonna paste the code in there, I'm gonna save it, but I'm gonna step you guys through it one by one, bit by bit. So the very first variable we have in here is customer with new date table. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head on over to, I'm gonna copy this out there, I'm gonna head on over to DAX Studio. Okay, so what happens here is we have a calculate table, so we're calculating a table and in that table, we're getting a unique list using the values function of customer IDs. Yes. And then we use that, that DAX we wrote in the previous step to identify the very first absolute date of the new customer. And then we just, same we did in that previous step, if you remember what we did in that first DAX expression, we tell it like exclude all filtering on customers and fact sales because we want to know absolutely when this happens. So I'm going to say F5 
This should now return exactly as an arrow table list of customers and the very first date they became a customer. Okay, so that is this first section over here. The second variable then takes that, this customers we new date, as an input, and we basically just check if all the values is actually in the date table. So that's great. So once we have that, we do account rows on this filter table. So to count the number of customers in this filtered uh, data table. So what we will end up with here is if we quickly look at this. So we have all our dates. Let's say what is the, the actual customers. This is a total customer count and our latest one with the this latest DAX formula. Let's quickly bring that in and we can see when a customer first became a client. Pretty cool. So this gives us now the, the count of the very first of all the new clients. You can see this is 20 because it's the first month of all and then there's 14 and there's 9. So this is the new absolute customer count. So that's when we have new customers. All right. So now that we have the count of the new absolute customers, now what we need to do is we need to get the total sales amount of the new customers. So what do we do? Similar thing. We say new measure and I'm just going to paste the thing in here. So we look at this absolute sales for each new customer. This very first variable is exactly the same as the one we did for the count. It does the same thing. It gets the um, for per client and know what it calculates what the very first sales date was. And then we filter that with the new customers like we did in the previous one. The only difference is we are now instead of doing account rows, we're doing the total sales measure. Um, and total sales, if we look at total sales, is nothing more than sales of the sum of fact sales. That's basically that. And we keep the filters on all the new customers. So we make sure this is never this filter is never removed. So what we have there, if we drag that in, this is your sales for your new clients every single month. All right. So our next step now, now that we know that what the absolute sales amounts are and the absolute client um, counts are, now let's look at the relative and relative. We are going to look at relatively to the product category. All right. So what we do is very first thing we add, same we did for the absolute is we're going to identify the new customer date, but we need to be a little bit more dynamic on this. So we're going to say new measure, paste it in there. So we're going to say calculate the min. So the very first time that we got uh, an order or a sale, and we're going to remove all filters based on the date. We're going to remove all filters on the date. And that should give us our date new customer table. All right. So that's our first inner DAX statements we're going to use downstream. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new measure for counting the number of relative customers. All right. So let's quickly see what we're doing here. We declared the first variable, which is customers with new date. Same as with the first one we did for the absolute. We do a calculate table. We base it around a unique list of customer IDs and we add the columns using that new relative formula that we wrote to identify the first date and we stick that in there. So we get that table. But this time around, what we do is we basically remove all filters for customers and date. So we have all selected uh, on the customer and date dimension. Remember, we want to we're going to do this based on the product categories. So we basically remove all the filter context on the customer and the date. Once we have this, then we use the treat as function. The treat as function is quite interesting because it's very first argument. The reason why we're using it is because we want to transfer filter context from this calculated variable table that we have here to the actual filters that we used in the report. So what we do is we refer to a treat. Let's quickly look at the documentation for treat as here we go. Treat as treats the column of the input table as a column from other tables. Okay, so that seems very vague, but it creates a it takes your virtual table and it basically matches it to so it's going to take this virtual table that we have here um, and that takes that as an input and then each column associated to um, something that lives in the data model. So we're going to associate that to the fact sale customer ID and then to the date. Once we have that, we do a distinct count on the customer ID 
yes. And then we keep the filters of this treat as variable that we selected. So transferring filter context from this variable to what is selected in the filters. So here we go. So we say, I'm now going to bring in account of the relative customers. So you can see when, if I take all of this off, when all the categories are selected, the relative customer count is exactly the same as the absolute customer count because it's that we selected all categories. So if we look at beverages, for instance, you can immediately see, because we're filtering on beverages, that um, this now differs with the absolute because we are looking at the very first time that a client becomes something of the beverage category, condiments, confections, dairy products, grains. So now let's just expand that into doing the sales column as well. So we're going to say, in fact, sales, let's say new measure, do that total sales instead of the count. Exactly the same logic we did in the same one. We have the variable for customer with new date, right? But now instead of doing the treat as, what we do is we identify the new customer by filtering this table, yes, um, for any values that we have in our date range, yes. And then we return, keeping all the filters from this new customer um, variable, and we return the total sales. So what this should do, if you look at this, let's quickly minimize this. This is now going to give you the total sales relative to each category. So for beverages, the very first client, all the very first time we had new clients for beverages, you can see there for condiments, confections. So now we have a dynamic view of clients, new clients within a specific category. Isn't that cool? This is quite powerful stuff. Cool. BA Sensei out.